who, why, and how we serve healthcare communities and librarians in social media. Part of my argument today is that the core functions of what it means to be a librarian haven't really changed. That it seems like we're going through all of this change, but down at bedrock, it's the same stuff we've always done. Here's a screen from Twitter showing little snippet descriptions of many different librarians who are in Twitter. And all I did was search for the word librarian in Twitter, and these were the characters that popped up on top. And you look at them and you see this incredible diversity and passion and quirkiness and humor and personality. And to me, this is much more the way I would like people to think. When they, think, when they hear the word librarian and think of people, this is what I would like them to think. What I wanted to do was find a different set of terms that described the core functions of what librarians do. And this is kind of what I came up with. So I'm an emerging technologies librarian. And the response I tend to get to saying that is, what? So what the heck is that? Or if it's a geek, they'll say, wow, that's a really cool job title. But if it's a regular person, they're like, I have no clue what you just said. So how do the objects of our attention, the paradoxes of the profession, shift when you put them in the context of emerging technologies? And I see the emerging technologies librarian is playing that sort of specialist role of focusing attention on specific types of resources and bringing them back and disseminating them across the other librarians as well as the client communities. I have a few example projects. Ann Arbor Area Seniors was a wiki project, a community in the general public in collaboration with one of our faculty research teams came to us asking for information about blogs. They had an idea of how they wanted to use the online social media to connect with the target community for their research project and they were thinking blogging might be a way to do it. But what I needed to do, um, we needed to know about what were their competing products, what were other ways that they could do it, look at matching the desired outcomes with the technologies and tools that were available, compare them, assist them with building some of the content. This image is from a public meeting for the Autism Society of America in their Second Life meeting space. I did live tweet the event and then we archived the notes from the meeting on the Second Life Healthy Wiki, which was created to support healthcare communities in Second Life. A researcher who was looking at the amulets in the historic collection and he wanted images that showed specific features within the amulets. Using Flickr was an easy way to distribute the pictures to him, but also make them available to a wider audience. Clinical faculty had expressed an interest in the use of games and gaming for teaching healthcare concepts to their students. And I've been pulling together information about games and gaming for education and healthcare. You know, this is really, you know, standard librarianship. I'm going out, finding out what's there. I'm collecting the pieces I think are valuable. I'm putting them in a group. I'm organizing them. I'm pushing them out to people, telling them I, they exist. I'm going, it's not print. It's not an online journal, but it's still core library functions. Henry Ford, here in Michigan, rah, rah, is doing Twittering of surgeries. And they've done several of these now, and they're absolutely fascinating. And they do questions and answers with their Twitter audience while it's going on. You can send them a question, and they will send you back an answer. So you see the bottom one is showing the Q&A. They're using this as consumer outreach, consumer health education and it's going on real time while it's really happening. They were capturing video during it and they would pop the video over to YouTube 
while the surgery was going on. It was not a real-time feed. They would capture the video, then put it in, but it was happening while the surgery was going on. So they'd talk about it, and then they'd show you, and if you wanted to go there, you could, but it was totally optional. They'd always let you know, and you'd have to click through to the link. How do we serve? Serving is part of being present, of paying attention. Librarians start with content. We always start with the stuff, but then where we go with the stuff is not always the same place. So we start with content, and in the social media sphere, what I like to see, envision happening next is we go from the content to the conversation that we engage our community in dialogue. Content, conversation. Conversation builds the connection, a sense of connection. And the connection can become richer and lead to a convergence of interests. So that as we've built those connections with our patrons that their interests and ours move closer together. And we, in our cognitive space, are also moving closer together. The convergence leads to confluence, where there's this intermingling of thoughts and ideas. The confluence leads to influence. And it's not just that we have influence on our faculty or on our students, but that they influence us. We're moving both directions there. The influence and those relationships change the intent where we're putting our attention, the intent with which we do our positions, how we move through our day-to-day -day tasks. And changing our intent shifts the content. And then we're going full space. So this is sort of my idea of how a social structure of librarianship might be envisioned. And what we see here is the content part ties back to the original content parts from my um, terms of librarianship, but the social part of it sort of mushes all together over with the others. It's not a direct one-on-one. -on -one. Where we're going with information is we're not supposed to be locking it down. It's supposed to be everywhere. We're not supposed to be staying in the libraries, sitting with the information, guarding it. We're supposed to be out there with the people, flowing where the information flows, doing what librarians do, but within the communities as a community member.